Hey there YouTubers, welcome back. Thanks for reviewing again another awesome Excel VBA is fun lesson. This is Daniel Strong, I'm your host. Today we're going to make a splash screen. What in the world is a splash screen? Well, I'll show you an example of one on another program that I have written. Um, really quick, it's... Uh, let's see here. Let me load that up for you one moment. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna open when I open up this workbook. It's going to do a splash screen. Check this out. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's a little screen that pops up here. Whoops. So I'm gonna close that down. No, I don't want to export. Okay. So anyway, that is uh, that was a splash screen, and you can use those for custom messages that you want to go away. You can do anything. We're gonna talk about the. Um, a feature in Excel where you can make something pause for a little bit, but you don't have to stop everything and make them unable to click on stuff. So this is going to be very useful, and we'll show you how it works right away. Uh, let's see, Alt F11. Well, um, to do to do this splash screen, uh, what we're going to need is uh, let's well we need an image first of all. You don't have to, but let's make one. I'm going to type MS Paint. And I'm gonna make something awesome. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I take that up. I take that back. Let's open up Word. Uh, Microsoft Word has some pretty cool Word art that we can do. Let's insert some Word art, and we'll make this kind of snazzy looking. We'll say um, "Super Cool Program." I'm gonna make "Program Large." Let's make it even larger. Super cool program. Well, that's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to hit uh, print screen. Now, you may not have this, but you need to get it. It's called Gadwin print screen. It's a print screen program. I can custom select what I want to do a print screen of. So I just selected that area, hit enter, and continue by hitting enter, capture. So, I've captured that, and uh, we'll go back to Go back to our uh, Alt F11 in Excel. Let's make a new user form here. Um, here we go, new user form. We're going to call this a uh, logo logo splash screen or something like that. Logo splash screen. Okay. Now I'm going to. I wonder if I could paste here. Probably not. Maybe I can't paste. Oh no. So I need to go into Microsoft Paint anyways, don't I? I need to save that image that I just did here. So I paste it in here. Um, and we'll just uh, we'll file, save as. Let me save this really quick. Okay, I saved it on my desktop. It's called Logo. So what are we going to do with this here? Let's go on a, we're going to give it a background. Um... We could either, yeah, we could give it a background, and we're we're gonna let's see, let's go to the picture, 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 picture. Here it is. So there's currently none. Let's click here and browse to the desktop. We'll find that picture and we'll we'll stretch it out in the in the background. So my desktop. It was called logo. Here it is. So double click on there. Okay, it's not fitting perfectly, but we could uh, we can stretch it or something. Yeah, picture size mode stretch or zoom, and you know it may be the reason that it's kind of transparent. It maybe I didn't save it as a JPEG. Maybe I saved it as a ping or something. But uh, let's just open this up just to see. Wow! Oh my gosh! Look at there. We already have a pretty cool splash screen right off the bat super cool program and I could put at the bottom you know copyright 2012 blah 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 let's or 13 let's do a label right here just to make it look awesome let's say copyright super cool guy 2013 or something okay and uh, uh, that's all well and good but how do you make it appear and then disappear after you know like three or five seconds or something like that well let's let's go over that when this user form is initialized so let's right click and view code or double click on the background 
We don't want a click event. We want an initialize. What is the user form initialize? That's when the user form loads up. So this is like a three-part thing, or four-part if you count the image we just made and put in the background. But all you have to do is an application dot on time event and hit space. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say that the time is going to be you could you I mean you could set an exact time uh but it's a, it's a lot trickier than that so let's just say the time is going to be now plus time value of uh 00 colon 00, zero colon zero 03 seconds okay um so we're going to say whatever the time that this is prompted, that exact time, plus three seconds. Pretty easy, right? So, and then you hit a comma, and you give, you give in quotes, you give the name of the procedure that you're going to run after that three seconds has transpired. So let's make up a macro, and let's run it. Let's call it uh, logo stop. Okay, control C, I'm going to copy that logo stop phrase there. Now, here's the thing. You cannot program a sub called logo stop. It will not work with your application on time. Uh, for some reason, your procedure logo stop is not supposed to be in the same mod, uh, in the same user form or module or something. So just plop it somewhere else. Don't know why, just do it. So sub logo stop, we'll put it in module 6 here. And we're going to say, what was that form called? Logo splash screen. So logo splash screen dot hide. Bam. So now, so that's going to work. As soon as we open up this user form, it's going to, as it initializes, it's going to say, okay, now on the time of now plus three seconds, we're going to run whatever in the world that program, whatever this procedure does. And then it's going to zoom over after three seconds and go find the one called logo stop. And it's going to say, okay, it's been three seconds. I'm going to run this code. And it's going to say, hide yourself. Hide that form. So uh, what's the next step? Well, you probably want that to load when your program starts. So you'll do a workbook uh, open procedure just to... to uh, to open up this user form and once it runs it'll tell itself to close in three seconds pretty cool anyway uh... let's um... let's just let's see how it looks first of all let's go ahead and go to logo splash screen we'll click uh... run just to see counting here one two three bam it's gone that's pretty awesome but Let's make it automatically pop up when the user opens the workbook. Go to this workbook. And then we're going to, on the workbook open, in addition to the keyboard shortcut for the home button opening opening our main form, we'll also say, um, while, we're, while we're doing some code, whenever the workbook opens, we're going to say logo splash screen dot show. All right. I'm going to close, the, save it, close it, and reopen it. Here we go. File, close, and then we'll go to file, and we'll just open up the one here, lesson nine here. As it opens, it opens this splash screen, and I'm not touching it. Oh, and it goes away. That's it, guys. You can do other things with that. You can have like a label flash on or become visible and then go invisible again after a few seconds. We'll go more over that in some other videos. Thanks for watching.